All right, welcome to our daily community meditation. Lately, we've been talking about the idea of overcoming. We talked about how it said in Genesis that Jacob wrestled with God and with humans, with man, and he overcame. And that word for overcome there is the word Hebrew word yakal. We talked about how Caleb, when the spies went to the promised land, they came back with an evil report. Caleb says, we should go up at once and occupy it, take possession of it, because we are well able to overcome. And that word or that phrase, well able to overcome, is actually the Hebrew word yakal again, twice. He says yakal, yakal, we're well able to overcome. Yakal means to be able, it also means to overcome, it means to be pre uh, to prevail or to be victorious. And I was thinking about this, I was doing a little research on this word. It turns out it's actually one of God's names. Elohim Yakal. Elohim Yakal. It's the God who is able. And this comes from Daniel chapter 3, verse 17. It's the three guys that said, If we're thrown into the blazing fire, the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it. He's Elohim Yakal. And he'll deliver us from your majesty's hand. And we're going to take communion over this today, just as a time of gratitude that he is Elohim. You call the God who is able, the God who prevails, the God who overcomes. And he's with us. He chose to be with us, to have a partnership with us, a covenant with us. Through his son. But let's get started with our daily prayer. And then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of Jesus. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed also that you could be on our side that you could be fighting for us and i keep asking that you the father of glory would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more that the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion. And every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. And to make your face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us so that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And I ask you to stretch out your hand to heal. And do signs and wonders to keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we're just so grateful. You've got all these names. We're so grateful for who you are. That one of those names is Elohim Yakal. That you are the God who is able. You are more than enough, Lord. You're able. You're able to cause us to overcome, to cause us to prevail, to be victorious in life. You give us the victory in Jesus Christ. We're just asking for a new understanding, a new revelation of this, and that we would remember this as we go about our day. 
that you are able. And we thank you the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread. And he said, this is my body. Broken for you. Do this in your remembrance of me. I just thank you that we get this opportunity to remember. All that Jesus went through so that we could be connected to you. One with you. The God who is able. And so I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, pour it out for the forgiveness of sin for many. I just thank you that we get to have this covenant relationship with you. We get to have a partnership with the God who is able. Just ask you to bless this cup in Jesus' name. Go ahead and take our juice. Uh, let's talk about some practical application into our health and fitness. I think one of the ways for us to apply this or to practice this is take this into your workouts. Remember, when you go into your workouts, you've got the God who is able. He's there to help you, to guide you, to help you to overcome and prevail in your health and fitness. Take him into that with you. Keep remembering God is with you. He loves you and nothing is impossible for him. 